let's have a look today. Students and staff with the Los Rios Community College District are frustrated tonight as a deadline is approaching quickly. They have until tomorrow to prove they've gotten the COVID shot. CBS 13's Renee Santos is live in Sacramento with the group. Renee? Yeah, people here say that this is not about the vaccine, but rather the mandate. Their message is they want the freedom to make their own health care decisions. Vaccines required. It's a message that upsets some Los Rios Community College District staff members who gathered outside the college district headquarters to rally against the mandate. Uh -huh. Telling CBS 13 they want the freedom to make their own health care decisions. Freely, without coercion from employers. Ryan Nix is a health services assistant at American River College. My mind has not changed uh, since the day that the resolution was passed. Um, uh, I believe that individuals should have the uh, freedom to choose their health decisions. Meantime, other faculty say they've already submitted their vaccination status. And I don't see how this is much different than that. I had to get a TB test before I started working here. Like, there's, there's things we do to keep each other safe. We asked Los Rios how many staff and students have already gotten into compliance. As of Thursday morning, 96% of full-time staff have submitted their vaccination status. Combining full-time and part-time employees, 86% have submitted proof of getting the shot. When it comes to students, 89% have shared their vaccination status. As for Los Rios staff who haven't submitted, they say their message is freedom to choose. We believe that, again, this is medical discrimination against people who are making their own health decisions. Though we don't know exact disciplinary action that could happen, some staff say they could be fired and are prepared to sue if that happens. We also know that students and staff who have a medical or religious exemption will have to undergo weekly testing. And we did check in with Sac State, who says that only 88 percent, 88 students are not in compliance right now. They do say that by October 11th, they will be starting their disenrollment.